Hello everybody and welcome to the Magic Spirit Animal app. This is an awesome mentalism trick that you can fool people with. This is good for the modern mentalist. And first you're going to get to the app that the screen is going to look like this so you can learn. Um, but just a quick uh, thing up the top right here, if you click or tap three times, um, it'll hide the learn button or show it. So highly recommend to when it's on learn to hide it by three taps and then give the app to the spectator so if you also you can also learn right here that it'll come back in 24 hours the learn button so in case you, you need it for later you can also hide it or show it here as well both ways um, do the 24 hour and uh, it tells you here you can top the right hand corner of the home screen as well so it's all there and then obviously you've already played the video because you're watching it now so you start the app um, up make sure the start there they press start they select the gender of their spirit animal male or female let's say male next and let's say they name it Fred F R E and D. It's anywhere from three to six characters. And then they press next. Okay. And now let's say they select um, one of the pick an animal now. Let's say um, the fox. Okay. So next. Now they get this screen. Fox is, uh, is highlighted in green. These two highlighted boxes, just in case they forget if they selected male or female, they can tap here. And for three seconds, it'll show whether they pick male or female. Same for the name. It'll show right here for three seconds. But what you do is you kind of don't even, you just bypass this and tell them to name the name of the animals right here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven animals. Okay, so you tell them that by the sound of their voice and by their body language and their facial expressions, especially the sound of their voice, you will be able to tell which animal they actually pick. So tell them to try to keep a poker face and try not to change their voice when they get to the one they selected. So they say moose, fox, rabbit, elephant, dog, scorpion, x-ray fish. Now the way this works is immediately you know exactly what they pick because this is made in a code. So if we look at the name Fred here, we will notice that F-R-E-D right there um, minus the first one with the M here, F-R-E-D for Fred right there is in the code. Now, moose or goose, moose means it's male and goose means it's female, okay? Um, so this is moose, so we know it's male and that's right. Um, also, whenever moose or goose is put into the code here, you know that the, the M or the G is always ignored, and then the next animal name will be the one they selected, in this case, fox. So they say moose, you're, think, you're thinking right away the next one is the one they selected. They say fox, you know they selected fox, plus you're thinking of F. And they say rabbit, you're thinking of R. They say elephant, you're thinking of E. And say dog, you're thinking of D. And then scorpion always tells you that that that's where the name that's where the animal's name ends okay and then anything past scorpion is just a bonus um, doesn't have anything to do with the code so once you're confident once you've deciphered the code here you tell them to put, press next and now it's all locked in and they have no way of going back to try and figure it out they have to reset the game from here so the way I do it is I first tell them that I could tell by the sound of their voice which animal they pick. So I reveal fox first. Then I reveal the 50-50 male or female. And then finally, the all impossible, I name the name of the animal, which is really hard to get. It's amazing that you can get that. They'll be totally amazed. So I'll reset this and give you one more scenario. Let's pick female this time. And let's pick... Um, uh, Jordan for the name here. So, thank you, ABC. J uh, O R D A N N. 
for Jordan. Okay. Now, if they try to select another one past six or whatever, it won't let them. All right. And they can obviously delete uh, characters and stuff. So once they're satisfied, next. And then these are in no particular order the first time when they pick the animal. They get shuffled after they select it. So let's say they say rabbit. Next. And boom. There it is. So jaguar, octopus, goose. As soon as you hear goose, first you're thinking J-O. Then you hear goose, you ignore the G, but you know it's a female. Because moose is male, goose is female. Then you know the next one is the one that they selected after the moose or goose, which is rabbit, and that's J-O-R, and dog for D, alligator for A, and N. And I showed you because if they select six characters in the name, there won't be any scorpion because um, there's not enough uh, spots there. So anywhere from three to five characters will always have scorpion in there. If it's six characters, it won't. And the only other thing I want to show you is, let's say, male, and then let's say they select um, um, Fred again, for example. Fred, next, and let's say they select actually Moose this time. Okay, so it's one of the... Now, if they, if they select moose or goose, it'll always be the last one. Otherwise, their scorpion, F-R-E-D, Fred right there, scorpion ends it, and moose is last, meaning that they selected moose or goose if it's last. So that's it. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoy. Try, try checking out my other apps. See you next time.